Welcome to Bears and Exile. Today is Wednesday, October the 24th, and this is the market overview. Looking at uh, everything that we look at every single night, and away we go. So, we were once again looking for a bounce. Short term, 60 minute time frame, bounce. And, uh, it, it tried, it did try, but uh, losing out once again by the end of the day. So, you would say, ah, the, uh, the bulls are finished, etc., etc. We're outside the uh, lower Bollinger Band yesterday, and it did go sideways, and uh, not just sideways or sideways and up, it went sideways and down, closing right at the lower Bollinger Band once again said last night there wasn't uh, a great place for this to be caught. We're at the top of uh, these candles here, but it's not exactly the best spot. Um, better spot would be down here. Are we down here yet? Nope. We are uh, definitely not down there yet. <laughs> All right, so what do we have to work with? Well, I have a few things, I suppose. We have an inverse hammer, which actually is a better candle for a reversal than the big red candle from yesterday. So there's one thing. Uh, I mean, that's not strong in and of itself, but uh, it is what it is. We have a bottoming area further forming and getting uh, more dark in the heat map. It's not bad. We're pretty darn low on the CCI, the stochastics. Uh, in the short term, 14 day RSI moving average, long term it has more room to move. Uh, getting low on the RSI, finally passing the 30 line. And uh, pretty darn deep on the uh, MACD histogram and the MACD itself. So, the daily actually is getting close or is at a point where a small turn uh, could be fine, maybe a secondary reset. Um, it still could be too early. I may need to get down here to the 1300 area. Uh, I would expect that area to be bought coming in on the 200 day moving average and a uh, previous area of support. So another 77 points to the downside. Possible. Maybe even very possible. But regardless, um, running out of space, running out of time, um, in the intermediate time frame, that is. Now, going on to the 60 minute, last night we said 60 minute looked like it needed to bounce. We had uh, come down dramatically. We went sideways. We said this could be bearish consolidation, maybe, but that uh, there were some things that looked like it would want a uh, a little bit of a bounce and uh, sure enough there wasn't any <laughs> how about that instead uh, breaking down to a uh, a new recent low today of course down 25 points and um, what else do we have to work with well a lot of the secondaries decided to go down again CCI fast stochastic 14 day RSI moving average holding low. The uh, MACD histogram actually was able to go positive and is starting to uh, creep back down slightly. MACD itself trying to go back up and uh, RSI just uh, whew, falling down, eliminating the uh, um, bullish divergence that we had yesterday. So that is broken. And that's about it. So actually, the uh, 60 minute time frame. It looks like we could have uh, these secondaries finish going down again before it tries to get up again. So, not as nice as last night. It's kind of funny. Last night, the uh, daily looking bad, 60 minute looking like it could uh, use a little bit of a bounce today, 60 minute looking uh, worse, and the daily looking a little bit better. How about that? Going on to SPX. Yep, yep, yep. 
this one is more interesting because now we're even closer um, to the major price consensus level from the previous month should offer some support maybe that's the little tails that we have here um, and more development in the heat map everything else identical to the Dow no need to rehash everything getting pretty low I wouldn't be surprised with a little move up but um, nothing's pointing up at the moment so uh, also have to take that into consideration And going on to the VIX last night saying new recent high, which is bullish, conquering the 200-day moving average, also bullish, but outside the upper Bollinger Band completely. We need to go sideways or down to get back inside. It's exactly what it did. Spinning top, back inside the upper Bollinger Band, um, backing away from the upper Bollinger Band at the top, Backing away from the 200-day moving average at the bottom, indecision candle. Uh, it is healing some of the uh, the blip in the heat map that we had last night. Uh, most things are still traveling up. CCI is taking a little downtick, as well as the fast stochastic. But uh, overall, not a bad showing. If we get more starting to uh, tick down, then we know that there is a definite problem for the bears. But as it is right now, it is early. So I guess it would be natural to go to the 60 minute and uh, see what we can see. See the big move up from yesterday. And uh, just going sideways, fighting it out with the uh, major price consensus level for the current. Oh, pfft, not for the current month. This isn't the daily. Duh. Anyways, <laughs> uh, working off the heat map through time and uh, pretty darn mixed on everything else. So this really doesn't tell us much of anything. Everything's in the relative middle, just kind of chopping away, and uh, there's no good tell right there. That's kind of a bummer. Going on to TNA. Now we said last night it was a really good thing that it uh, was able to recover with this hammer, get back inside of the descending channel. And today it was just able to hang on to it by the skin of its teeth, closing right at the bottom of the lower channel. But some uh, not so great things, it was pierced, 200 day moving average was pierced, and it just backed away from the lower Bollinger Band. So actually that's not uh, overly encouraging that it could still manage to do all of that, but uh, it is what it is. We're having more development in the heat map towards a bottom, and um, everything is pointing down, moving down, etc., getting pretty darn low on a few things. We still have positive divergence in the MACD histogram, and we have the CCI ticking up very, very slightly. So... Um, I was really hoping we'd get more of a tell today, but uh, today ended up being pretty lackluster. And UUP, the dollar. This one was really interesting last night. Very interesting last night. And uh, I don't know why this has moved on its own, but it decided it wanted to. So, we were talking about how many hits we've had of this line and today, piercing it again and unable to close above it. We don't have anything in the heat map telling us anything. We have another inverse hammer possible reversal signal at the top of a possible range since it did pierce higher than yesterday. Um, as a matter of fact, it didn't close. It closed exactly the same as yesterday, right at the major price consensus level. That's unusual. But uh, that is what it is. Tick down on the CCR. Everything else is still ticking up and uh, getting pretty darn close on the 14 day RSI moving average. Uh, slow, I'm sorry, the fast stochastic already losing a little bit of momentum, but it is early. It'd be great if we had a green area in the heat map, but we do not. Uh, going on to USO oil. Wow, that's amazing. 
closed outside the lower Bollinger Band yesterday, was completely outside of it, and did exactly the same thing today. Another hammer possible reversal signal at the bottom of a possible range. And now we have a really strong uh, blip in the heat map. Actually, it started yesterday, but uh, it continues on into today. And everything ticking down with the exception of the CCI. Ugh, not telling us much of anything. And uh, where did it stop? It stopped right here. Bottom of this little area that was uh, support before. Is it going to support it this time? I don't know. But um, if it does break it, ooh, it has further to fall. Most notably this gap fill here. All the way down to 30. Um, hmm. CompQ the NASDAQ. How did this do today? Well, oof. It's bearishly engulfing the uh, real body of the almost non-existent body of the candle from yesterday. Not a good sign. Uh, of course, we do not have an uptick at the moment. We can see the long-term moving average is starting to collapse. Um, still have positive divergence in the MACD histogram, and everything is ticking down with the exception of the CCI. We are getting further development of a bottoming area in the heat map. What is there to say? 200-day moving average right here. Uh, we're just knocking on its door. Not overly encouraging, but uh, it is what it is. And GE trying to get a better read on the Dow. Bearish engulfing the real body of yesterday's candle. But it did go sideways and got back inside the lower Bollinger Band just by a hair. So uh, at least it did what it should do. Still bottom area in the heat map. And just like everything else it looks like tonight, CCI up, everything else down. Pretty darn low. Um, I guess we'll get a tick up when we get a tick up. Uh, Apple. Apple, 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 where are you? There you are. This isn't so bad. Spinning top, inside candle, um, indecision candle, still a bottoming area in the heat map, and um, this one, more development on the MACD histogram going up, and the RSI is ticking up, and the fast stochastic is ticking up. Curious that we do not have an uptick in the CCI but uh, that is what it is. Very mixed, but um, at some point, stochastics are going to both go up, the histogram is going to continue to tick up, and the MACD itself will turn up. We just don't have all of that yet, so um, I'll be waiting. And JP Morgan, the most important bank That's not bad. Um, well, it's not good either. Um, everything coining down. The 14 day RSI moving average has all kinds of room to move to the downside. We do have an uptick on the CCI. Um, this doesn't really tell me much of anything except that. Ooh, it doesn't really tell me much of anything. Sorry. Um, unable to close above the upper price consensus level, still below the middle Bollinger Band. This doesn't really tell me anything. And XLF financials as a whole. This one is a little bit better uh, than JP Morgan, in my opinion. 14 day RSI moving average pretty low in the intermediate time frame already. Uh, yes, everything is ticking down. Uh, for uh, CCI ticking up. We do not have a topping area in the heat map uh, like we do JP Morgan still. Still has a lot of uh, green. Matter of fact, I'm going to go back to that for just a second. See, we have green. So that is better. Yeah, it was red and JP Morgan was higher, but. Uh, Nonetheless, better positioning and uh, everything seems to be in better alignment for when we have a turn. Just don't have a signal for a turn at the moment. What a lackluster day. And I think that's going to be about it. I wish there was more to say, but there's not. 
I was hoping for a much more decisive move today and it just didn't materialize. So um, it is what it is. As always, all investing decisions are your own. This chart and video for entertainment, educational, and consumption of time purposes only. Thank you.